All right, so if you just joined and you don't have a chair, go grab a chair and bring it back because we're going to start off going with some cardio. We're going to do cardio and core tonight and also work the bat wings. We're going to work the jiggly wigglies, the squirrel arms. I mean, I have a million terms for it. So we're going to work that area. Um, but let me see. Let me see how many folks we have here. Terrific. We're up at eight. And I just got done with QVC <laughs> um, and another live show, guys, because we're stay trying to stay in shape. I mean, right now, here is the, the main issue. It's motivation. We're trying to... Diana, thanks for joining again. I remember you from the other day. Great to see you. Hi there. So, Diana, we're going to need a chair, and then we're going to need um, just our Cormax, and off we go. Our Cormax Pro, mine has resistance bands. We will... We will use the resistance bands in case you don't have them. I'll also cue for, um, I'll also cue you without bands, okay? So we're gonna get going and let's have a lot of fun. I'm gonna get some music on, got it? Awesome, I'm gonna get some music on, so one second. So I like to keep my little, speaker here, my little speaker close to me so that in case, if it gets too loud, I also have the timer. So I'm gonna hit the timer and off we go. Okay, everybody, happy Saturday night. Happy Saturday night, happy hour. We've got 30 minutes, so happy half hour. Our feet are gonna go right on the pads. And what we're gonna do is start pressing. Now, I think what I did actually, I wanna make sure everybody line up correctly. So if this is all the way at the top, meaning if I've got you all the way up at one, level one, say if you're taller, great, okay? But if I'm 5'7", and so I found that when I'm doing my cardio with pressing down in a chair, uh, level two worked really well for me. So I'm just gonna lower down just one, one level. Okay, one level right here. Oops. There, one. there you go. Okay, one level. Then make sure you have the proper distance with your feet and your thighs. I want you to get to that point where it's comfortable but even when you're pressing down, you actually feel your, your stomach working. And I'm gonna, so here I have to modify mine slightly, just push it away a little bit, bring my legs back up. So the middle of my foot's gonna be more on there. And then I'm gonna do this little jogging motion. It's like a pedaling motion. And so for right now, while we're in quarantine, and make sure you do a hashtag quarantine, hashtag Cormax quarantine if you'd like, um, while we're home and not moving as much, this is why I'm here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help push you, but in a safe way. So believe me when I say, okay, we're gonna push it. It's only short bursts. So we get into the anaerobic area and that's gonna burn fat. So I'm looking at us saying, all right, we're going into our summer months. I'm here in Pennsylvania. I'm on the East Coast. It's 65 degrees today, but we're getting there. So I wanna make sure that during this time, I'm still working towards those summer goals. So we're gonna make sure we get some cardio, some core and strength training tonight. And we're gonna do it in 30 minutes and we're gonna make it super effective. All right guys, so ready? Here we go. So you got five seconds, I'm gonna ask you to push your pace. You can hold onto your chair or your stomach and push your pace, let's go. So feel your legs going a little bit faster. It's only 1%, remember this, 1%. I'm also gonna actually ask for you to keep that chest lifted, I always want you to lead with your heart muscle and you can keep your hands on your stomach. You've got 15 more seconds and then you're gonna slow it down. So ready, this is our warm up, and I'm giving it right to you right out of the gate. So ready in five, in four, in three, in two, and one. Now slow it down slightly. Breathe everybody, breathe. So when I say breathe, let's just actually focus on that. Hands, heart, center. Diana, hands, heart, center. And I want you to breathe up, everybody. Breathe in as you're pedaling, exhale out. Ready, I want you to go again, hands, heart, center. Breathe in all the way, exhale out, and down. Now we're gonna go for another 30 second push in three, two, one, and let's go. Hands on your stomach, feel your stomach muscles engaged as you're going 1% faster. That's all I'm asking for. It is a lot though when we're warming up. So this is the way we get those blood vessels going. You're getting that circulation running through the body. 
and I am at the gate challenging this heart a little bit. Now, if this is too much, you can always back it off. You have five seconds, everybody. Five, in four, three, two, slow it down slightly. Now, I love the resistance. So I'm at level two. If you want less resistance, then bring it down even lower, okay? So right now, I'm working with a moderate amount of resistance. If you want less, what I found was when I brought it down lower, it was less for my pedaling. Now, that means when we go lower during our crunches, that's definitely gonna work our core a little bit more. So, here we go. So we're gonna go another set, three sets everybody tonight. Ready? Three, two, one, and go a little faster. Hands on the stomach. If you need more support, hands on the side of your chair. Now make sure you're breathing everybody when you're pushing. I want those leg muscles to come alive. They're the biggest muscles in your body to get the metabolism off the ground. Remember, when we work our thigh muscles, that's gonna skyrocket the metabolism. That's gonna help you during these times where you may be making choices that you normally don't. All right, I understand. So three, two, one, and slow it down slightly. Slow it down slightly. Now hands heart center again. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale out one more time. It's so important to work our lungs. Ready? And breathe. Exhale out. And that's the lung capacity. So basically, I'm working with my own self who, you know, I'm healthy, thankfully. And if you are awesome, if you need to modify anything based on what your doctor has said or any injuries, by all means, listen to your body. This is a workout that's going to grow with you. And so we want to make sure we're always listening to our bodies. Also hydrate anytime. So now what we're going to do is actually lower. We're going to lower this. So we're going to bring it down to level three. All right, do so you see that? So we're gonna bring our right foot, my right foot, your left. You're gonna grab your resistance band. Now, if you don't have a resistance band, you can also, from that's part of the core max, grab a weight, grab a soup can, grab a tuna can. Really, there's options in your home. Grab a water bottle, all right? So that's an option. So I'm gonna have the my right brain with my foot, your left brain, and then my left brain with my arm working. So we're gonna do upper and lower body. So start working with your right leg down, right hand on your right hip, okay? <laughs> then I want you to take your hand out to the side. And ready? You're gonna bring it right out for the side shoulder, the side delt. Three, two, one, let's go. So up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't even have to use anything. You can just lift your arm if you'd like, especially if you're just starting out. This is for all levels and I wanna make sure we keep it safe. Now I need 10 more repetitions, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, well done. Now, I want you to lean down, grab your other, and we're gonna switch. We've got three sets on each side. So first I want the left brain, or your right brain, to start pedaling. Now when I'm cycling and teaching cycling classes, we'll always do the one leg. It's a great way to really warm up one side of the body, but also it kind of triggers a reaction in the brain to strengthen the brain. So what we're gonna do is now get that right arm and we're gonna work the side of the shoulder, even the front and a little bit of the back of the shoulder. Now we're gonna pulse 30 times in three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, upright with your posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, make sure you're breathing. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now, I want us to get both feet on here, okay? Both feet. And then we're gonna work with both arms. Remember, you can also adjust. You can also make sure you just do your um, arms without a band. Inhale, exhale, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's a small little pitter patter. It's a press in those legs and the arms going out to the side. All right, even if you feel the core max lifting a little bit, it's okay. I've done this a few times now to know it's fine. It's actually just gonna work with you. We're 15 reps away. So 13, 12, 11, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, well done. All right, so keep those handles right in your palms and I want you just to press on the feet. So you're gonna give me one minute now. We're about eight minutes in. One minute of pressing individually on your core max. So the hands are right by your side. One minute of you going a little bit faster in three, two, one, and go. I want that cardio, I want that cardio. All right, get those legs moving, engage your stomach, 
Inhale, exhale. Connect with your mind, engaging the body. So that's the best part about exercising. It just happens naturally. If you consciously think about it, then it will really happen, meaning puff your chest. All right, pull your belly in. Let the legs just go and do their thing. You're gonna feel in the upper thighs, you're gonna feel in the inner thighs and the outer thighs. All right, you're gonna get those arms working soon, so get ready. You've got this. All right, now you have only about 15 seconds, that's it, 15 seconds. Inhale, exhale. Five seconds, everybody, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent job, excellent job. So we're gonna go back to that the other set. So everybody, I want you to just drop the one handle. Right foot's up, right, right foot. You're gonna start moving that right foot or your left. Okay, this is a great song by Dave Matthews. <laughs> we're going out to the side with that arm. 30 pulses, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and well done time. Other side, everybody. Yes, you're getting warm, I know you are. And it's less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes this is happening. Okay, so here you go. You've got a chair in your house. This is what's great. All you need is the core max and this band, and here we go, head to toe workout. Three, two, one, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, everybody, go. Ten, eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Excellent job. All right, so we're not gonna do both feet on this. I want you guys to just do me a favor. We're gonna come back to this at the very end. So we're gonna get back onto our chair probably within about five minutes left, but we're gonna stand up for a moment. Take your chair, take it away, and we're gonna get down. We're gonna get down into our core max and really wake up our stomach muscles. So I had so many friends who watched this and they're all excited because they're like, oh my gosh, this is so compact, it's so easy, I love it. And I'm like, yeah, and they're like, does it work? I'm like, it works both ways, so let's do it. So I've got Diana and I've got Lady. How are you guys? All right. So what we're gonna do, bring your level back up. Bring your level back up to one, all the way, all the way up to one. All right, all the way up to level one, okay? So we're gonna work our stomach and then we're gonna work our triceps, okay? So your knees are bent, feet are together, and I want you to cross your hands over your chest, and then I want you to take a nice little seat back and then sit up. So give me 15 of these, but remember, as you go back, I want you to pull your belly button into your spine. That's three. Inhale, exhale. This is four. Yep. And this is five. Allowing the resistance in the core max to bring you up safely. You're still contracting your core, though. That's the whole point of this, is you're able to actually strengthen both directions, going back and forward. Four more. Here we go. So you have four. Inhale, exhale. You have three, we're gonna advance and get ready. We have two, come on. And we have one. Now, just sitting up, grab your resistance bands. All right, so they're behind you, correct? And you got them right behind you, we're sitting up. So see my elbows? They're gonna come in closer and come up towards my temples. And we're gonna go straight up and get into the bat wings. I promised you we'd get into the back of the arms and here we go. So the goal is to straighten your arms and keep your elbows close to your temples. All right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're targeting a very stubborn area in the body called the tricep. It's the back of the arm. The more you work it, the more you're gonna actually see toning and sculpting. So the toning and sculpting comes from working the muscle, which we need to do with resistance, whether it's dumbbells, but I find resistance bands to be more effective when it really comes to getting into that area. So I need two more, ready? Two and one, excellent job. And the heart rate went up because the hands are above the heart. Here we go, everybody. So now, I want us to advance. You're going to lower your core max, the pads down, okay? You're gonna lower it down just one level. Now we're gonna cross our hands, knees and feet together. We're gonna go down, yep and come back up, woo! Now when you come back up, you can sit up a little bit higher than the pads come up, all right? So this is where 
you get to determine your control and it's really a nice feeling because it gives muscle memory, the muscle memory back into your sit up. So this is really a funny story. I was doing one of my classes this week <laughs> and I'm teaching a, a two free um, Instagram classes. All right, for a lot of my community members and I just want you all to be able to stay active. And um, what's really funny is I had to do a full sit up uh, in my combo that I was teaching. And at first I couldn't do it. I was like, oh my gosh. Now, of course, after a couple, it comes back, just like right now, it comes back. But I was surprised because I'm always working my stomach, always. And I thought, how's that possible? Well, it's possible because I haven't done a full sit up. So those muscles are sleepy. So we've got to wake them back up like we're doing right now. You're waking them back up and you're allowing your powerhouse, I need two more, to get stronger. So the powerhouse, again, shoulder to hip, shoulder to hip. And one, well done. So guess what we're doing next? You're doing your triceps, your bat wings, the back of the arms, the jiggly wigglies. Call them whatever you want. All I want to know is I want them tighter. And I want them to be defined as well. I want them toned. I want you to actually have the confidence when you're wearing a sleeveless dress or a shirt to say, wow, look at my arms. They're getting more toned. It's possible. It is absolutely possible. Ready? Let's do it. So squeeze up. Now remember, you can cross your legs here. If this is more about you leaning over like this, go for it. So I want you to squeeze up and if it's more comfortable as well, two and three and four, five, you have 10 more, ready? 10, this is nine, this is eight, this is seven, this is six, this is five, this is four, come on, squeeze that muscle, squeeze the muscle, one more, one more, and time, great job, great job, great job. Woo, right? All right, we're gonna advance one more. So we're really using the core max. I want you to understand, we're gonna lower this down one more to level three. All right, so we're progressing quickly, but I want you to just try it. And if you need to bring it back up, you bring it back up. So try to bring your knees and feet together again, sit back, all right, and cross your arms. We're starting back and then allow it to help you, but now you're doing a lot of it. So come back slow, 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 and then come back up and really sit up. Oh, this is awesome. This is so great because this lesson is teaching me how to really help a lot, a lot of kids, especially 13, 15, 18 year olds struggle so much with their core. And then of course, guess who else struggles? Moms who had babies. Moms, I have a 13 year old. So this is really a great way for me to strengthen the inner layer of your core, your transverse abs. So we're getting into that whole inner layer, that muscle that kind of loses control every day based on a meal. So now you're able to tighten it up and give it the muscle memory. So your muscle has memory, but your muscle and your body has no idea how old you are. So you need to make it what it wants to be at any age. At any age, it can be whatever you want. So you have six more, ready? This is six now. You can cross your arms. This is five. If you ever feel any tightness in your neck, all right, in your neck, I want you to realize, bring your tongue to the roof of your mouth. All right, that's a trick. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. All right, you don't feel it anymore, right? One more, try it out. And excellent job, excellent job. All right, let's cross our legs. It's more comfortable when we're doing that with our triceps, the jiggly wigglies. Remember these. So we're gonna go with our third set. Our third set, here we go. You're doing super, by the way. We're targeting all the trouble spots. The muffin top, the lower area, the back of the arms. We got our cardio in. Three, two, one, let's do it. So one, two, one, two, one, two. You got this. Come on, keep going, keep going. You can do it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Go, go, go. All right, give me five more. Five, four, in three, in two, and one. Great job, great job. Woohoo! Okay. So now we're gonna move into a little cardio for the front of the thighs and the calves. I had a girlfriend of mine say today, Carrie, my calves, oh my gosh. So I want you to take your core max and turn it around. And her calves were so tight from a workout we did yesterday. And I said, wow, you, I mean, this is somebody who easily would benefit from this. So we're gonna keep it at level 
three, okay? The resistance bands can go off to the side. And what I'm looking for are your lower calves to be right on. Looking at the clock, you're gonna give me three sets of 30 seconds. Palms are just relaxed. I want all pressure off your wrists. I want your wrists to actually feel like there's no pressure. They get a lot of pressure with holding weights, with doing yoga poses, with holding bags. So just take off all the pressure off your wrists. 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now you're flexing your feet, flex your feet. All right, make sure the toes are trying to come towards you. And I want the legs straight. Come on, you've got three, two, and one. Now relax, do me a favor, pull your belly into the ground, arms come up. I want you to bring your arms over your head and stretch for a moment. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now I want you to come back up. Head, shoulders, right? Then come up onto your forearms. That's it. It was a stretch. Palms down again, off of your uh, wrists. Five seconds to 30 seconds of cardio. Four, squeeze your quads, your thighs, and go. 30 seconds. Flex your feet, legs are straight. Let's do it. Come on. Bum, 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 bum. Great job. Come on. Come on. Breathe, 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 breathe. Yep, yep, yep. Now 15 seconds. 15. Almost there. Eight seconds, eight seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Slow it down. All right, here we go with our stretch again. Allow your body to kind of come down, lower back into the mat, into the ground, arms over your head. Stretch everybody, now breathe. Ready, breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale out. Come back up, head, shoulders. Come up onto your forearms, okay? Very possible, right? And now let's do it again. So, pulse. 30 seconds, let's do it. 30 seconds, three sets, that's what we're aiming for. Waking up muscles that you won't even realize until tomorrow. But we've got the big muscles engaged, getting the metabolism going. You're doing a super job, let's stay at it, stay at it, stay at it. Come on, come on, we're gonna work our chest next, you can do this. Full body workouts, inhale, exhale, give me faster, faster, five seconds now, five seconds, you can do it, five, four, three, two, and time. Well done, now I want you to sit up while we're almost there. And then I want you to bring the core max closer to you. Okay, so you're gonna bring it closer to you and we're gonna put our knees on the core max. That's what I like about the pads here, okay? So you're gonna bring up your um, arms just up to about the second position, second position. And if you want it up higher, go for it. All right, but I find right here, okay, it's gonna be a good way. All right, so we're gonna do our pecs. Our pec muscles are our chest muscles. So we're gonna work the top and the middle and even the sides with this movement, along with your arms, your upper arms and your shoulders. We're pressing down along with your back area, your lats, all in that area that people see when you're exposing your shoulders, your arms in a sleeveless shirt or a dress. So ready, you're on your knees and we're gonna do certain sets again. So we're gonna press, start getting warmed up a little bit Inhale, exhale. All right, inhale, exhale. Now we have 10 seconds. And when we're finished with this, let me know what your, what your thoughts are, your feedback, what you would like. Also, I wanna know again, where you're from, where you're from, okay? Ready and go, a little faster, 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 faster. Woo hoo, keep breathing, keep breathing. Go, 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 go. Come on, press and press, press and press, press and press, press and press. Five more seconds, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, almost. Three, two, one, and time. Now come on up, use your stomach muscles, pull your stomach in, breathe up. Hold your arms and pull your arms back, pull your arms back. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Now fold over, hands back on the arms, ready? We got five seconds and then we're going for 20 seconds again. Inhale, exhale, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So right and left, right and left. Press and press, press and press, press and press, press and press, press and press. I love it, you're working your upper body. When you have a stronger chest, your stomach 
appears to be leaner. Okay, that's a fact. So working that chest helps your posture. It also helps your back muscles. So we gotta work on that chest. You're almost there in three, in two, and one. Well done. Now, come on up. Use your stomach to come up. Breathe in and up. Thumbs go back, press back, press back. Inhale, exhale, all right? Feel that body of yours stretching. Bring it back down, you have five seconds. Third round, start to press, get the motion going. Ready, and let's go. Right and left, right and left. Now you see my elbows going behind me, that's what I want for you, because when we go to our push-ups, which we're going to be doing, our modified push-ups, which are super for really sculpting, really carving out your upper body, helping your stomach muscles, carving out your stomach muscles, you're gonna see how helpful it is with the Cormax. Now you have five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two, and one. Well done, and breathe in and up. Exhale out, ready? Breathe in and up, exhale out. All right, here we go. So I want you to, now, you're in, the, you're in a perfect position. All I'm gonna ask you to do though is bring your, arms up one more level to the highest level, highest level, okay? So you're at the highest level and we're gonna do push-ups. Then we're gonna come to this position and then we're gonna work with our arms, okay? So we're still working with our arms with the push-ups, but the thighs, your thighs are right there. So I want you guys to see me. I'm gonna turn it this way, okay? And we're gonna go aim for 12, 15, then 18 push-ups. All right, you ready? So your thighs are on. Oopsie daisy. Got to just ramp back slightly. Thighs are on, okay? Now, watch. Hands are about mm, a little bit outside your shoulders, and then your elbows are gonna go back behind you, and then you're gonna press up. Ready, feet are off the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. So one, and up. Two, and up. Pull your stomach in, three, four, and press. Down and press, come on six and press halfway there you've got it come on press it up work that chest three more come on three come on two and one great job okay now we're gonna work our upper body with our bands okay so I'm gonna actually take this band the one on my right and I take it across I'm gonna open it up and bring it across and one and two, okay? And three, so you bring that arm across your chest, that gets the heart rate up, and then I reach out to the side. I reach out to the side. This is eight, this is nine, this is 10. Come on, you only have five more and then we do push-ups. Four, here we go, come on. Three, here you go. Two, you're getting your torso, and one, well done. Now turn again if you need to, like me, otherwise keep yours where it is. Now we have 15 push-ups. You will let the elbows go behind you. Thighs are on the pads. Feet are off the ground. You're ready, hands are slightly outside your shoulders. Three, two, one, let's do it. So one, and press. Head in line with your spine. All right, three, up, four. Now you have 10 more, you can do it. Come on, 10, nine, eight, I love it, seven, Six, stay with it, five, here we go, four, almost, three, two, last one and up. Great job, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it because it's like me actually doing a real push-up right. Okay, so there's push-ups and then there's just doing a push-up and you're not really doing it right. That sets you up for success because of the arms, because of the pads. All right, now putting all the pressure on these areas that can be really delicate, especially for a woman. And I believe me, I, I train all the time. It's just that there's certain parts of my body I just have to be careful of. So bring that arm across the heart and bring it up one, all right? And two. So the whole game of exercise, in my mind, is to stay in it forever, right? So I'm not looking for injury. I'm not looking to overwork different body parts. I wanna work my whole body from head to toe. I wanna balance my body, work the back and the front, okay? So we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into all of that. Throughout these 30 minute classes, you're doing a super job. 
Just make sure you're breathing. All right, stay in it with me, four more. Ready, four? This is three, come on. This is two and one, great job. Okay, last set of push-ups, 18. Excellent job. Now, if you're fatiguing and you're like, Carrie, I can't do 18, all you need to do is just don't, don't go as low, okay? Or you can hold or you can do 15 and just hold a plank. All right, so here we go. We're gonna walk it out. <laughs> Feet off the ground. Hands slightly outside your shoulders. All right, three, two, one, let's do it. So one and press. Come on, two and press. And three, every time. All right, this is the song. Five, I love music. Six, I'd love to know what your favorite music is. Seven, I'll play it. Eight, I'll make playlists. Nine, 10, everybody, you can do eight more. Pull your belly in, one. Come on, two. Come on, three. You got it, four. Five, six. This is seven. Last one, one and up eight. Oh my gosh, here we go. Now, you're gonna bring your core max right to that first position you had it, okay? Where basically, you are going to grab your chair, take a seat. I have to turn my iron around. I have to turn mine around real quick. Maybe you do too. You want it where the core max is looking away from you. Okay. All right. Grab the bands. And so here's the thing. That last set, we don't need to do it. We just did it when we did our push-ups. So I want you to just... Give yourselves, your, both your feet are up on the high level, right? So I want you to kind of bring your hands down to the ankles, down to your toes, hold this. Now for some reason, if you can't get into this position, drop a leg down the pad. Drop the other leg down the pad. Bring your hands down, and I want you to hold this, just rounding your back. This is a lot safer than us touching our toes. Our spine isn't made to actually just drop down to our toes, believe it or not. So this is a wonderful way for you to stretch your lower back. Inhale, exhale. All right, I like that we have a little cushion here for our hands. Four, three, two, now bring it up. And I want you to turn, all right? Just turn to one side of your chair. Let your head turn as well. Bring it over to the other side. And I want you to bring your arms out and then bend your arms just like so and then pulse behind. I want you to kind of open up your chest a little bit. We did a bunch of chest moves. So you're actually opening up your chest and it's gonna help your scapula which is right in the back, right behind your chest. So pulse and pulse, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring your hands up behind your head. Open your elbows, open your elbows, open them up. All right, pulse them back, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your arms down by your side, roll your shoulders back, one, two, three, bring it forward, one, two, and three. Now hands heart center, breathe in and all the way up. Exhale out one more time, ready, breathe in, all the way up and out. And you guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful Saturday night. Please let, leave your comments, spread the word. We want to grow this community. It's a great way to get 30 minutes of everything from your stomach to all of your limbs and strengthen and tone and sculpt your body. So thank you so much and have a great night. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you next week. I'm back.